Ready to race, ball is on. Green lights are on, good start then from Caitlin May. Not bad at all from Owen Robbins on the outside of the front row. Then who's gonna get the drag down towards the first corner? In the middle there is Max Langmaid as Owen Robbins goes for the joker lap on the first time. Then side by side we are with Langmaid in May as they go through the first bend of Chesson's Drift. Out wide then is Langmaid onto the rough stuff and Caitlin May does hold on to the race lead then. Brilliant driving from Caitlin here, but Max Langmaid's not gonna take that line down. Into the left-hander of, of the Devil's Elbow we go. Not able to find his way through as it stands at the moment, but uh, very close indeed. But May has actually lost out there, and that is in the form of the number 326, who's been able to find their way through as uh, they go past and uh, into another position. So it's Max Langmay then that uh, leads the way from the number 326 of Corey Padgett, who is in second position there now, and Caitlin May demoted down into third position. Yeah, fourth in fact, because Max Watt flicked through as well. So Caitlin made that big error coming through the, the devil's elbow and suddenly we've got two for the lead because Corey Patchett was right onto the rear bumper of Max Lanmay, but then thinks, no, I'll go to the Joker this time and try to get some clear air. He's been followed by Caitlin May, who's had a bit of a nightmare of a first lap, and here comes that man Owen Robbins. He rolled at that part of the circuit earlier in the day. He's not been put off at all. He's now stormed through into third place. So Owen Robbins in the blue Suzuki Swift into third place. He is the one to watch because he's the leading of drivers to have taken the Joker lap, and he should now be chasing down the top two at the top of the hill. Max Langmaid and Max Watt. It's the Max show at the top of the field with Langmaid from Watt, but then Owen Robbins in third really is one to keep an eye on as Caitlin May tries to recover after that very sticky first lap. Yeah, absolutely right there, uh, Dan. Uh, very closely behind you can see Will Abenden in the number five machine, the uh, red and yellow car. He is having a lot of pressure being put on him by Finley Scott in the number 226. We cross away from uh, that battle to look at the front end of the field in the form of Max Langmaid in the black and red machine, who still leads the way. Closely followed by Max Watt, then a lot of dust being kicked up here now as the uh, circuit dries out, and that is making visibility a very unique challenge, especially with the sun coming down so low at this part in the day as well. I feel quite sorry for our spectators as a result of that. They're going to have uh, a fair bit of dust uh, in their shoes by the end of this one. But uh, Max Langmaid then leads the way at the top of the hill, closely followed by the number 326. Uh, that is Corey Padgett, who is... Uh, sorry, I apologise. Uh, that's a little bit further back, in fact, uh, with uh, Will Ovenden with Corey Padgett onto the back of him. And where has Corey Padgett's pace gone? You've got to ask yourself, because he was at the sharp end all day. He was, and Owen Robbins really is the one to keep an eye on here because he's the fastest driver on circuit, currently in third place. As Max Watt's gone grass tracking, going out of the chicane, and he will lose ground. That will bring Owen Robbins into contention. So suddenly Max Watt's race is unraveling, and Owen Robbins is going to try and go right around the outside, but he's on that loose stuff. You don't want to go there, Owen. You can't is, get drive. You really lose all of your momentum there, particularly in these lesser power. 1.3 litre Suzuki. So Max Watt, after that mistake at the chicane, he hasn't jokered yet. You would think he had because he's lost a lot of ground to the leader, but it was a mistake in the chicane which has now caused this battle for second place with Owen Robbins with the slightly battered scars on the on the roof of the car where he had that rollover at Chesson's Drift on the very first race of the 2021 season. But he's got his head down, he's put in good lap time since. And Owen Robbins is going to try and make a move. And oh! had a little touch, just the slightest of kisses between the two. They both get away with it. And Owen Robbins is still all over the rear of Max Watt. And Robbins finally, finally gets through. That would have helped the race leader Max Langmaid because all of that tussling is allowed Langmaid to get clear or has it because he's jokered and come back out in third place. Yeah, it's been a shocker there for Max Langmaid. His pace has really dropped off. We're keeping a little eye on it there and uh, it does now mean that uh, Owen Robbins has got the uh, advantage as it stands at the forefront of this one. There is Corey Padgett up the inside. That's rough and ready on Max Langmaid. He's giving it as good as he gets and now he's going to lose another position to Finley Scott here as well. Side by side we go up the hill with Padgett versus Finley Scott, Max Langmaid keeping a watching brief on this one, Scott on the outside then in the yellow machine, here comes Max Langmaid back up the inside, contact again as well with Corey Padgett as they come down the hill and keep an eye out as well for the 152, that is Caitlin May who's coming back into the action here as they come into the final series of corners, it's the last lap here in the Junior Rallycross Championship for round number one, but it's going to be Robbins then that claims the chequered flag in second position, ahead of Ovenden in second place. 
and then it's Corey Paget in third position. Caitlin Langmay did, uh, sorry, uh, Max Langmay did take fourth place ahead of Caitlin May in P5. And uh, then comes Max Watts, Finley Scott, and uh, Hawks will finish down in the final end of the field. But what a thrilling end to that uh, junior uh, final then.